Hey YouTube, I'm V King here with another quick video update for you today. So this one I'm going to be demonstrating how my 79 point Lotus coil can light a light bulb. It's really awesome. It's actually very awesome. Alright, so my main lead here for the AC current to flow out is going to be open circuit unless I have a super conductive ground such as myself or water or sensitive circuits, high efficiency circuits, seem to be very utilizable for this system as well. Uh, now, as I told you in my previous video, I'm using a six watt power adapter, and this is a four and a half watt bulb. Now, if I was to say strain the energy in this ball, wouldn't it cause some sort of overheating of some kind in the circuit somewhere where it couldn't power a secondary source because the secondary source is also consuming energy? You tell me after I do this. So this is six watts, this is four and a half watts, and tell me what you see. See? Nothing in my hand. It is lighting. And the reason because... <clears throat> the reason this is happening is <laughs> because there is a circuit in there that reacts to EMF fields, high frequency EMF fields, or actually EMF fields of any kind. Uh, high frequency it seems to be more sensitive to though. What's happening is this ball is pulsating an EMF field that is resonating into my hand and other surroundings, uh, other conductive surroundings. And these other conductive surroundings are uh, are always getting saturated and since they contain their own magnetic fields, the magnetic fields just simply get excited and you can take advantage of the excited fields and keep the energy flowing just like that right so now we're going to take six watts we're going to power this bulb and the emf from my body there's a lot of emf that goes through my body apparently uh, the coil can't match the emf that comes through my body so that means I'm more conductive than this coil, and I have yet to stress out the ball. See, if you watch the plasma here, nothing gets strained, okay? Nothing is getting strained at all. I can take this bulb right here, light it up, okay? Let me move this back a bit further. And now I'm going to take the end of this bulb right here. I'm going to touch it to this one right here, and it will light both of them very, very brightly. Uh, let's see, and then we take this one, and this finger will be short-circuiting right here. Watch what happens. Look at that. And it lights this bulb as well. Let me get a better angle on that. Uh, without the camera knocking over. Okay. So, I'm going to take the end of this bulb here, touch it to the outside coating of the circuit, and touch one lead of this to the flowing AC current that's technically open circuit at 6 watts. Okay, so here's the 4.5 watt bulb without me even trying to, to use my body to ground it. And then watch what happens when I do this. Both bulbs light. Isn't that something? Okay, and for the power reading. Okay. I'll turn the light on. So you guys see exactly. Uh, yes, I know it's a microwave. It's not a classic thing to use, but there's a magnetron in there, and I'm going to be testing some things with that magnetron as well. Okay, so you see that? Wow, it's actually going through the bulb and it's shocking me. There it goes. 
saying right there I have oh it sounds smooth right here four amps yep four amps at <clears throat> Oops. Four amps at uh, four amps at four hundred millivolts. Me. Oh shit. Three hundred and sixty millivolts at four amps, guys. Remember that three hundred and sixty millivolts, four amps. Where we gotta see if we can get the power even higher now. Stay tuned. Hope you guys like the update video. Peace.